Guys, this is crazy. It's Thanksgiving Day and I'm gonna do a catch and cook. You can watch the catch, right? Hello. What do I got here? Look at this guy. This guy's coming home. That's a 12 incher. See the size of the shrimp I had on there too? There was like nothing. This guy is coming home. I, I'm bringing him home with me. Snapper is what's for dinner. Spicy chocolate mangrove Good morning, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Today we're going to do a catch and cook. I caught the fish yesterday. Today we're going to cook it. After I get done frying the bird, uh, I'll throw the fish in just because my wife doesn't want fish before the bird. So here we go. Uh, mangrove snapper. That's what we're going to do today. I have on the table here. All the items that I use, uh, about a quarter cup flour. Today we're going to do something special. Today we're going to do a chocolate rub, spicy chocolate. Just a regular rub you buy at the store, nothing crazy. But this is really good. I put it on my pork butts all the time. So we'll use that. And then I've got some uh, Creole butter seasoning here. Uh, very common around Thanksgiving time when you put it in the turkey. I got a little leftover here, so I'm gonna use it on the fish. See how that comes out. And then of course I got the egg wash. So, today's subject, already scaled, already gutted, already cleaned, already rinsed. Mangrove snapper, Florida special, okay? So, like I always do, first thing, put some slits in it. Full size. That's because we want this to be evenly cooked. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Okay. See the slits in there? Just the way I always do it. Okay. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the flour and the chocolate together. Mix it up. So we'll give our first wash. Forgive me, again, it's Thanksgiving. My wife used every plate and bowl and silverware in the house, so I'm reserved to using Rubbermaid Tupperware. Anyway, here's the flour, put that in there. The chocolate rub, put that in there. And we're gonna go ahead and mix it up, okay? Uh, you wanna get it as evenly as possible. Just take your fingers, your spoon, your fork, whatever you wanna use, and get that nice and mixed up just like that, okay? Nothing too crazy. Then we're gonna take this Creole butter and we're just gonna wash it. It should get into all of the crevices nice and beautifully um, because of the liquid. But just fold up, get everything in there nice, both sides. Now this we're gonna use, this is gonna act like the butter wash or the butter the uh, egg wash does with milk, except for the first one, just to get the initial dusting on there. I'll put a little on the inside too, just for flavoring, not necessarily for buttering. Okay, and we'll take it and we'll drop it in there. Get it pressed down, get it on both sides, nice and dusty. And my napkin flew away. Okay, and there you go. Nothing too crazy, just to get it started. Okay. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the egg wash on there. This is uh, not something you would normally do. This is just a, a quick throw together video. So it's gonna be a little sloppy, but that's okay. Who cares, huh? Wife's inside, I'm outside. I make a mess outside, not inside. She ain't gonna yell at me. Happy wife, happy life. At least that's what they say. All right, so we've got the egg wash on there. We'll do what we did before. We'll dip it again. This time we want to get that stuff all over it. Pat it down, get it nice and crusty. So what's gonna happen is when we fry this thing, it's gonna have a amazing crusty, crispy outside. Absolutely delicious. I'll just take this and get all the places that I missed, including the tail. That, as we know already from previous videos, is my favorite part. 
nothing better than a crispy fishtail. Mm -hmm. Pat that on there nice and thick. A lot of it will come off when you drop it in the fryer, and that's okay. As long as you get a nice good coating on it, before you put it in, you should get a decent amount. of crust and deliciousness on the outside. Now I'm gonna flip open the belly just like that because this top part always is one of the hardest parts to get breaded with flour. So when you stand it up like that, you take the belly and you open it up, it holds itself up. So you can ensure that the entire fish gets a nice even cut coating of whatever seasoning you put on there. All right, folks, like I said, again, it is Thanksgiving. Everything's set, done. All I have to do now is wait for the bird to finish. Then I can finish the rest of this video. It's going to be a little darker than it is now. I do apologize, but priorities, bird comes first. So don't go nowhere. It's going to be delicious. All right. Here's the bird. Priorities. I got to drop this first. Then I can put the snapper in there. So let's get this out of the way, we get to the good stuff. All right, before you guys start roasting me on YouTube, just understand that I measured this with water the night before. I put the oil in about a half an inch below the water line to give room for the oil to expand. Yes, the oil came over the side of the pot and it looked like it was gonna go crazy, but that's why we do it outside in the open for times where you don't estimate it properly and you have that spillage over. And if you get the flare up, which we didn't get, which is good, but in the event you get the flare up, you're not gonna burn your house down. As you can tell, we're cooking great. We're two inches below the top of the pot where it should be, where I measured it to be. All's well. Let's get the bird out the way and eat some snapper. All right, 10 more minutes, the bird's done, and then I can get to the fish. Let's go. Time can't move fast enough. I'm getting excited. I hope you are. All right, folks, moment of truth. Get the bird out of the pot so we can get the fish in the pot. Ready? I apologize, the lighting isn't the greatest, but the bird is out. Now for the best, the spicy chocolate deep fried mangrove snapper. Let's go. So I'll take this bad boy right here, drop it in. Never done this before. We'll let that sit. When it floats, it's done. At least that's what I've been told. See you in a minute. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go bobbing for fish. Normally you bob for apples. Today we bob for fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's falling apart. Oh. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Oh, that's looking amazing. All right, folks, I've waited all day to do this. 
spicy chocolate deep fried Thanksgiving mangrove snapper. This is going to be delicious. I don't think you understand how excited I am. I mean, my inside is tickled. This is going to be delicious. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, folks. Spicy chocolate mangrove snapper. Here we go. Oh, look at that white meat. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. You need to try this. Go to your local store and buy yourself some chocolate, spicy chocolate rub and do this recipe. Oh my God. Let's try it. One more bite. I got a Thanksgiving bird I still got to eat. Happy Thanksgiving, but fish comes first. <laughs> Nothing better than fish. Oh. Oh my God. I don't want to eat the turkey. I'm going to eat this. And you should too. Delicious. Listen, I appreciate you guys watching me, following along. Hopefully you're trying my recipes. Thank you so much. Keep watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Happy Thanksgiving.